Hey guys, what is up? Moxie 721 coming up to you with another game review. And I hope you are well wherever you are in the world. <laughs> Today's going to be a Sega Master System classic. Thunderblade. Yeah, based on Blue Thunder. But I don't think they got the rights for Blue Thunder, so they used the name Thunderblade. I like it when they actually put nice artwork on these boxes. It looks so cool. The spine here. It's a 2 mega cartridge. Could you imagine that? 2 megabits. Not megabytes, megabits. And here is the back. It's only written in English. Because I believe this is the US version. Or the UK version. It's got 4 stages, 12 rounds. Good for one player only. It uses a control pad or that control stick and has 2 mega power. This game was made by Sega in the USA. You can see over here. And it came out in 1988. And it's, oddly enough, from Tonka. That's weird. I didn't know Tonka had anything to do with games, but anyway, hold on a sec. I'm back, and this is what's inside the box. I've got the manual here, which is in pretty decent shape. It uh, looks like a decent print quality, because some manuals are really, really cheap. You can see the lines, like it's like printed on a laser printer or something. Here's the cartridge. It's been well used, but still in great shape. From Sega. Now oh, hold on. I'm back. And this is what the game looks like. Ouch. And I just smacked it to my camera. Hold on a second. Let me fix that. Banging into everything. The title screen is nice. Nice digitized image. This is what the graphics game look like. Hold on. That was just a demo. I'm not that bad at this game. <laughs> See a nice digitized image of the Blue Thunder movie, but they couldn't get the license, so they changed it for Thunderblade. Now let's start a game. Stage one. Lift this up. There we go. The sounds are pretty much what you expect from a Sega Master System. The graphics are actually decent. These loud colors, and as you can see, I'm really good at this game. I wish they had enabled the FM chip for this, but this was way back in 88, so I guess not. Someone should hack this and redo the sounds for the FM chip. <laughs> Those tanks are a pain. This is the overhead section, which is in standard 2D, and in the there are some sections that try to do 3D. And hold on a second. There we go. That's the title screen. I'm going to try and see if the demo goes into the 3D sections. Because I want you to see that effect. It's pretty interesting what they did. There it is. See? They tried to make it look 3D by using 2D special effects. It's decent. I mean, this is an 8 bit master system way back in 88. So, yeah, that's decent. I would say they did a good job. You burn up. And that's pretty much what the game looks like. If you're looking for a good shooter on the SMS, definitely pick this one up. It's easy to find and pretty cheap. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care and bye-bye.